hello viewers welcome back now let's continue with the previous section now let's do the connection between the opc server and then the SCADA software okay so before then let's add the remaining tags we are having other tags we have memory 0 0.1 0 0.2 available and then we have an output 4.0 so this is going to be my start tag and it's memory so I select it I click OK and then it was 0 0.1 ok Verify. and this is my stop that's my stop tag so memory memory boo and this is 0 0.2 we can add that of the output Okay, so we can test them quickly. If I go online, zero dot one, we can see it changed. If I go to zero dot two, we can see it change. So zero dot two close. If I go to zero dot one, we can see it change. So working in our OPC correctly. So now let's do the link between the OPC and then the interscader. All right. So with our tags all tested, we will now link the OPC server with the interscader software. So to do this, you go to edit, you come to alias map. Okay. And then you need to create a, a connection. For now, I've created one. Let me create one more for you to understand. So you go to new. And then we need to give it a name. So we say OPC underscore connect one because I've already created the OPC underscore connect already. Okay, that's fine. And then you need to show where exactly you are mapping this name to. We are mapping it to the S7. So map and then we said okay. So our connection is created OPC connect one. You can either copy and then we close. We are done here. We now have to start the interscader software okay so the software is started we can create a new project so we go to file just a simple project for test so the same path i can call it test underscore opc and then give it a name and then i click on finish to create it okay project is created we double click on it you can use your existing project too as well all right we need to create a window so we go to new so this can be our first window so w1 say okay okay so with our window created we now have to create a link between the software and then the opc server so you go to special then go to access names and then we create our access name so we go to add for the access name we'll give you the same name opc underscore connect one and then under the topic name the same name opc underscore connect one and then here you need to specify server underscore run runtime so server underscore runtime okay perfect then we click on ok our connection is created we can close it now and then we can illustrate something let's draw something so for our first test we'll bring a lamp okay so we have the lamp here and then we need to assign create a tag name just as we've been doing double click so this is going to be my it's a digital lamp so let's say d lamp click ok and then here i need to specify the, the data type remember when we're doing this simulation we're using memory discrete for digital but now we are reading from an uh, from actual plc so we need to use io discrete so we select and then we say okay we can see that we have 
extra point to fill then we need to show it where exactly we are getting the data from and it's from our opc connect so i will say okay, i select it and let's close it and we can see it appears here and then we need to specify the memory point where the data is coming from so from our unit you see that our memory point where the data is coming from and from the tag is m0.0 .0. so i'll specify m0.0 .0. okay so i click on save and then i can close and then i say okay good with this one down let's test so i go online okay so we are in the runtime now and let's test i bring the simulator and then this is a bit 0, 0.0 so i click on it and we can see that the lights change perfect we go offline and then we add the analog to test the analog two meters now we'll click on it and then we need to create a tag just as we did for the data so I can call it level and then the type during simulation we are using memory rail but this one we are reading from an actual PLC, so we use IO and it's a word signal, so we use IO word, sorry, IO integer. And then we need to assign the access, so we use assign connection. Close. And remember, we are picking the data from M w4 that's memory word 4 so MW4. we can save and then close okay we can go run time and then observe we can see that currently our value is 60 and we can see that these slider is at 60 let me change to 40 we can see it change let me change to max 100 we can see it perfectly so we can see that data is being exchanged let me the data also working perfectly now let's look at the uh, direct online i'll bring two push buttons so i'll go to buttons momentary ones For now, let me bring a lamp. Okay, so this is our start button. So we assign the start to it. So we can call it start. Data type. I will discrete. It's already assigned to our connection, but we are fetching the data from. We can check. We can see the start is 0 0.1 so i change this to 0 0.1 and then i click on save our stop we can change here to stop okay and then our tag this is going to be our stop we need to change this type to as well hold the script and then our stop is 0 0.2 so we change it 0 0.2 save so we click on ok and then this lamp is uh, output that needs to come on which is this very one so we we'll use the output address for it so we can call it let's say pump So I will discrete and remember that one is scale 4.0 save so, 
Okay, and let's go to runtime and observe. Okay, so we can see that the okay data this one can come on. We can change this to fifty. Change now. Let's see whether the signal will come, which is zero dot one. So I press it. We can see that if I press on it, I can see the signal moving. If I press on this, the light comes on. Okay, perfect. But we can see our settings are not correct, so we can go back and then do the settings correctly. This is our start. Stop. Okay. So our start, our stop should be normally closed, and then we can see that it's active here. If I press it, if I press it, we can see that it's it's gone. And if I release it, it comes back. And then our stop is normally open. Okay. So if I press start can see for the zero coming on and here you can see the lamp coming on if I press on stop it goes off so we can see that we are able to control the logic through the interscalar software thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial bye bye